yourself together. You can make it. You... Come on, son. We'll come and get it. Yes, they can. A couple of weeks in the base hospital and you'll be walking around again. I should worry. It's been a nice hiding little wall. Cut it out. Nothing can happen to you. Well, it has happened to you. I can ever do for you. Call on Johnny. 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 She's a finish. She's a finish. Enrico Pemet. She's a grand. Come guarda bene. Si. Sí. Vai da. Come guarda. One. Two. Momento. Three box. Tante <laughs> grand. Si. <laughs> What's the matter? What do you spit on the window? That's for good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. I'm gonna make two. <laughs> two. <laughs> All right. Hell, come on, Rosie. You might be one. <laughs> Go on. Yes, see. <laughs> come on. Another one now. See, we saw it. Hey, what's the matter? You want to squeeze your finger? Come on, go upstairs to go to bed. Come on, you got to go to school in the morning. Hey, well, momento. Who discovered America? Christopher Columbus. Hey. And who was the first president of the United States? George Washington. That's the good. Now. Who's the greatest Italian in all the world? Mussolini. Mussolini. Hey, Mussolini. <laughs> That's good. He's smart, eh, Mama? <laughs> hey, the lady, you fix her sleeves in the coat, yes? I gonna do for you? No, just looking around. Say, nice little place you've got here. Oh, you like it? Yeah, how's business? Oh, business is fine. Good neighborhood. Everybody's a nice. That's right. Everybody's swell. Just as long as you don't make no bad friends. Oh, I got no bad friends. Everybody's like Enrico Pometti. That's right. Yeah. That's what I dropped in here to talk to you about, Pometti. I don't want you to make any mistakes. And in case you do make any bad friends, I'm here to take care of you. But I don't understand. I got no bad friends. Oh, quit your kidding, Pometti. This is a pretty tough neighborhood, and you know it. 
<laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> yeah. And if some bird got sore at you, it wouldn't take much to put this little joint on the fritz, would it? Why? Why to do this? Why? Well, it's been done. <laughs> I'll tell you the cops. <laughs> that wouldn't do any good. A copper wouldn't put his thing on a racket like this. That's been tried, too. Now, listen. I know a pretty big shot in this ward who carries a lot of influence. And I can fix it so that you'll never have no trouble. Oh, you want me to buy protection, is it, daughter? That's the ticket. Oh. Now, say you slip him about uh, 20 bucks a week, and he'll pass the word along the line to let you alone, and you'll be left alone. Check it down, eh? That's not a nice word, Pametti. <laughs> You're just buying protection. Now, all the big companies do it. Sometimes it's pretty hard for you little guys to get a chance like this. Well, how about it? We start collecting, say, uh, next Saturday? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll you. My place you shook me down. I want to talk. I want to tell you. You've got to do it to me. Hey, Mr. D. I want to tell you. What is it, Howland? Well, sir, it seems the guinea ain't pleased with the treatment he's getting downstairs. Somebody threw a pineapple into his joint, and he sure he knows who's behind it. Yes, sir. That dirty crook up in the corner. Hmm. Jaime Whiteson corner. Yeah, they got him in the office of the chief of detectives now. All right, I'm sent up here. And tell Featherstone I want to talk to him. Yes. Come in. Tell me about it. I'll tell you, Mr. Norris. I'll tell you. You're going to be surprised at what I'm going to tell you, Mr. Chief. Sit down, tell me about it. Yes. Don't get excited. No, no, I know excited. I'm a good American citizen. A long time ago, I come up from the other country. I want to be an American. I take out of my papers, and now I'm a 100% American. That's fine. Sit down. Sam. I say with the moon, I married a nice little girl. She worked. Uh, I, we have a one or two bambinos. She keep on working just the same. I see. By and by, I serve enough for money to open a little place. Uh, you see, our own. Mm -hmm. I press the pants. Uh, she take out of the spot. Uh, so on in the bottle. Do you understand? I understand. So on in the bottle. Say, then I want a day. This a dirty crook, uh, Jaime White's in the corner. He come in and uh, he say I have to pay uh, twenty dollars a week uh, for protection. I no pay. I tell him to go. Well, uh, I tell him to go. Two days later. Somebody ripped the tires on my car when I delivered the stand of the rest. And then, I be watching the corn. He come around again. He said to me, if I'm not going to pay him in the morning, I ain't going to be sorry. He makes me mad. I kick him out of my place. The other night, somebody throw something through the window, and my whole store, she's got poor. Instead of fall. What's it out of for, Mr. D.A., huh? What's it out of for? That's what's known as the shakedown. What's the matter, Mr. D.A.? What's the matter with this country, Mr. D.A.? I live in the old country to get away from the black hand, the mafia. I come into this country and I throw a kiss to the goddess of liberty. I'm free. I work hard. My Rosa, she's a worker hard. And now... I lose my little place all because I don't want to pay the money to this dirty crook. You shake it down. Why is no honest man can make a living in this country? Everybody is a pay graft to the crook and against them. What do you need in this country? It's a Mussolini. That's what you need. He kick out the crooks. He make it a bigger crook to catch the little crook. And the feed all of it catch the oil. That's <laughs> not a bad idea. Huh. That's a you. Hey, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You good? This man says you try to shake him down for a weekly payment. When he refused, his place was mysteriously blown up. How about it? 
Why, he's screwy. I offered him protection from the licensed private detective agency. Why, this WAP lives in a tough neighborhood, and he should have somebody watching his joint at night. Liar, liar, liar. Liar yourself, Kenny. You couldn't be kidding. Where's the kidney? Get away. You couldn't be kidding. Hey, 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 I'll break you teeth. Hey, hey, quiet. How about it, Featherstone? Weisenkorn's telling the truth. He does own a private detective agency. Here's my card. Hmm. I can imagine it. A two-by-four joint with a telephone and a desk, huh? Yes? Bail bond? Oh, all right. Your bail bond is waiting downstairs. Thanks a lot, Mr. D.A. That's the matter. You're going to let him go? I'm afraid I'll have to. Oh, no, 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 no. I owe you a stomach in here. Get the bill away. Get the bill away. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's the matter with you? Get away from me. You crook, you dirty bum, you. Come on. Have to let your teeth out. You crook, you. Arrest that man for assault. Assault? Me? Why, I never laid a hand on him. How about it, boys? He sure did. He certainly did. Take him downstairs and throw him in a cell. I can convict him for this. A nice frame-up, eh? Well, it won't work. This is against the law. The law? I'll have the laws framed in this town so that you and your gang will be thrown out of it. Our slogan will be, get out or get shot. That's a Mussolini. Get out to get a shot. Mussolini, he say, give everybody castor oil or two. And I may do that, too. <laughs> Take him downstairs. Listen, I'll break you over the last one. You're doing a good job, please. <laughs> We haven't a thing on that fellow, really. We'll hold him just the same. Just as you say. I'm getting out of this racket. It's getting too tough for me. <laughs> what do you mean, getting tough? I thought you had it pretty easy. It isn't going to be easy with Johnny Molinas and his gang in town. They're going to muscle in on all the local rackets. Johnny Molinas? Yeah, Johnny Molinas. And you're going to see the greatest little gang war this part of the country ever saw. They're going to sprinkle the streets with lead. Kids are going to get killed. And I'm getting out. Johnny Molina. So uh, you're quitting the force, huh? Yeah. What are you going to do? Why, well, I thought I'd open up a private detective agency myself. Oh, yes? Yeah. What about it? Tell us, John, I always thought you were yellow and a crook. Just a minute. And I was never sure of it than I am at this minute. Hand in your resignation any time you like me. And that's just what I'm going to do. Wait a minute. I want you to do something before you go. What is it? Bring Johnny Molinas here. That ought to be easy. Everybody knows that Johnny Molinas and his gang are at the Pelliser Hotel. All right, get him. Okay, boss. Hey, Chili Scopelli and two of his mob are down the desk asking for you. I wonder what that guy wants. The clerk stole him along. That party at the desk is okay. What? They're already on their way up here. What do you suppose that mug wants? They want to talk business with it. Big shot. Come on in. Sit down. 
This is just a little sociable visit, I take it. Don't close the door. There's a couple of your mob tailing us. They better be. We sort of expected you boys to meet us at the train when we came in. We were there, all right, but you didn't see us. I'm not going to stall around, Molinas. This is my town. What are you doing here? Oh, Chili. This is anybody's town. I'm warning you that this burg ain't big enough for both of us. All right. Why don't you get out, then? I promoted it, developed it, organized it. Perhaps the burg is big enough for two of us. What do you say to cutting in on the racket? Me and you working together. Oh, no, Chili. I never split with anyone. So that's the way you want it, eh? That's the way I want it. And that's the way it's going to be. Okay. Okay. There's going to be trouble. Sure there's going to be trouble. You can't expect to get anything for nothing, can you? There'll be trouble. Plenty. Yeah, and I guess it's coming sooner than we expected. Get over there, Shorty. Open up. Well, it looks as though you was expecting somebody. You never can tell. You're Johnny Molina, ain't you? Stone. I've heard of you, too. Pally, you was just left here. Yeah. Chili Scott Pally. Cut out the smart cracks. The district attorney wants to see you downtown. What does the DA want to see me for? Now, I knew Chili was in pretty good in this town, but I never thought he was that hot. You'll find out when we get there. Get your hat. Oh, oh the old hat. A, a huh? DA. A left is. A guy that stores any other guy in the army. <laughs> you may go, Feather. <laughs> Look what I dug up. <laughs> you remember that? Gee whiz. <laughs> what a swell little baby that was. Hey, Marty, do you remember that uh, tattoo that she had on the right? No. Was it the right? I can't... It was the left. The left. <laughs> well, you're the one guy that should know. And now you're the great big district attorney of this burg, eh? And you're Johnny Molina. At your service, Hot boy. shot, Johnny. <laughs> That's me. Well, we've both gone a long way, Johnny, since we were over there. What are you going to do, Marty? Run me out of town? Chili Scapelli has already promised to do that. No, Johnny, I'm not going to run you out of town. I'm going to run Chili Scapelli out of town, and you're going to help me. Oh, I am, am I? Uh-huh. Now, you could size that Featherstone up, couldn't you? He's yellow. He's crooked. He's going to resign. Says that he's going to start a private detective agency of his own. But that's just a blind for another one of Scarpelli's rackets. I want you to take his place. What? Johnny Molina's a dick? Don't be crazy. Johnny, you've got to fight, and you've got to fight on my side. America has changed. And the little fellow in the street has made up his mind, and it's get out or get shot. Get out or get shot, eh? Uh-huh. Come here. Look at that. Yes, that's my city. And it's full of a lot of little fellows trying to make a living. Trying to raise children. But harassed, beaten, and robbed by organized crime. Chili Scarpelli. A lot of crooked politicians and grafting policemen behind him. But Marty, I couldn't turn copper. Johnny, you've got to do something. You might just as well chip in and help me. The gangs have got to go. All right, what can I... Johnny, I need you. You're the only man for the job. Get that? The only man. You know, it's one thing to arrest one of these criminals, but it's another to get a magistrate to hold him. And it's still another to convict him. I want the yellow rats, the dirty baby killers, treated just the same as one gang would treat another. I want them shot. Shot, eh? Johnny, do you remember one night in France when you said you'd do anything in the world for me? Yes, I do, Marty. Well? 
I knew you would, Johnny. Put the order through, Marty, and get me a badge. And then order a dozen coffins. You'd better order a carload. They're cheaper. What do you say, boy? Hello, big uh, dog. Uh, what do you want downtown, Johnny? Get a load of that. What's the idea? Yours truly is the new chief of detectives of this town. What do you what? mean? I still don't get it. Sure, the district attorney is an old pal of mine. And he made me promise him that I would shoot the Scapelli mob right out of this burg. What? Hey. That's, so That's the way it stands. What a Leo. Why, the town will belong to us. A gang war with the police on our side. What could be sweet? Oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. Now listen, boy. Now tonight's a great time to start. They tried to knock off a little wop dry cleaner downtown. And the little wop had Jaime whites and corn pinch. Now it's a cinch that the guinea's life isn't worth a nickel. So I want you, Tony, to pass the word out to one of our gang to go out and get one of the Scapelli mobs, see? And find out just when Scapelli is going to bump him off, even if you have to be a little rough with Scapelli's man. Get it? Leave it to me. Let me see that. Boy, do we rate. Look at that, will you? Andrea, we want you. What's this, a ride? No. We just want a little information out of you, that's all. Put on your cue. This way, buddy. Go on. Go on. Come in. Hello, Andrea. Let's have it. What's the gag? That guinea that had Jaime White and corn arrested. When does he get bumped off? What's the idea? Well, he's going to get bumped, ain't he? Sure he is. What is to you? Johnny Molinas wants to know. Oh, the new copper. And he thinks I'll double-cross Chile and spill what I know, huh? Johnny wants to know, are you going to kick through? What do you think I am? Not a chance. So you're not going to talk, is that it? That's it. All right, boys. Give them the works. like it. You want something, please? Hey, are you Enrico Pometti? That's a me. Uh-huh. No shoot the police. No ah, that's shoot. all right. Don't get excited. We're the police. Oh, <laughs> You scare me. <laughs> you beat it upstairs and stay there till I tell you to come down. Your life's in danger here. My life? What? Jaime White's in the corner? He's out? No, Jaime White's in the corner's not out. Now, come on. Get upstairs and stay there till I tell you to come down. All right. Let me have that coat. A coat? Johnny, that's a dummy just made for it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Glad to beat it. That's fine. Bring him along. Put him right down there. Come up now so he looks a little natural. You got dummy is fairly smoky. Yeah, that's from the explosion. Looks like a binge.
There you are. All right, beat it, Vince. Come on, in here. Keep it running, kid. I got a car outside. Gee, he's dead. Yeah. Get out or get shot. Vince and about a week we'll own this town. And what a killing we'll make. Well, we made a good start. You boys stick around here. I'm going down and call the morgue. <laughs> I'm afraid that's okay. They didn't have a chance, Marty. Was in the bag from the start. Good morning, Elizabeth. Good morning, Miss Patterson. Is Mr. Andrews in his office? Yes, he is, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm intruding. Not at all, Eleanor. Come right in. Hello. Hello. Eleanor, I want to present Johnny Molina. Johnny and I were in France together. You've heard me speak of him. Now, this is Miss Patterson. How do you do? How do you do? Johnny is my new chief of detectives in our offense against the gangsters. Oh, how splendid. You fought together in France, and you're fighting together over here. Oh, I shuddered when I read the morning papers. Johnny engineered the whole thing. You know, you look different than I expected. Well, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about it? You haven't forgotten that you're taking me to lunch in the polo game, have you? Not at all, dear. I'll be right with you. Yes? What? Oh. All right, I'll be right there. No lunch, no polo today. Meeting of the Board of Pardon. And there's no getting out of that. Oh, and I did so want to go. Do you realize that this is the fourth engagement you've broken this week? Can't help it. Orders are orders. I know. We'll have Johnny take you. Johnny? You take Eleanor to lunch and to the polo game, Jim. They're the ticket. Uh, but Not a word. Part of your job. And if you ask me, the easiest part. <laughs> well, I should say it is. How about it, Miss Patterson? Will you go with me? Oh, why not? Martin's orders. What he says goes. <laughs> Come along. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> There you are, playing polo. <laughs> Looks just like me, doesn't it? You must think I'm an awful fool. I don't know you well enough to tell you just what I think about you. Hello, where are 
on earth have you been? Dinner's been ready for a half hour. Didn't you know Martin was coming? I've been to the polo game with Martin's new chief of detectives. Martin ordered it. He should have expected me to be late. Great fellow, Johnny, isn't he? Oh, splendid. I like him a lot. Who won? Oh, oh Meadowbrook, I, I think. Well, I'll be down just as soon as I change. Meadowbrook, she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> I want to congratulate you, Molinas. This is the first chance the federal authorities have had of backing you up. Thanks, Chief. The first chance the police have had of getting in the Scarpelli safety department box. With this information, we can give the income tax people all the ammunition in the world. I say we can. Hello? Yes, Miss Patterson. Why, um, I think he is. Uh, just a moment. Mr. Molinas, miss, there's a telephone call for you. Oh, thank you. I just called you to remind you that we're going to the football game this afternoon, aren't we? Um, uh, yes. Certainly. Well, I'll be down in front of your office in my car in half an hour. Yes, I'll be there. Goodbye. Going away, Johnny? Uh, yes, Marty, I've got to beat it now. See you later. All right. out among them, Chief? Yeah, football game this afternoon. Pretty nice haul we made yesterday, wasn't it? Uh-huh, but the federal officers got all of it. About one more big blow-off like that, we can step in and take over the business, huh, boss? Yep. Maybe. You know, the boys are kind of getting restless. They miss that soft sugar, Johnny. I wonder what the boys would say if uh, I told them that I wasn't going through with this deal. Have you decided that? Well, I haven't said I would, and I haven't said I wouldn't. I just wonder what they think. I think the lid would blow off the works. The boys would never stand for it. Yeah? Well, I'll be seeing you. How do you do, Miss Patterson? Where have you been all afternoon? Uh, Martin's phone half a dozen times. Oh, yes? He seemed rather upset about something.
Marty knew it was you who called this morning. He didn't let on, but he knew. Yes, I'm afraid. Marty loves you. I'm afraid so. You don't love him? No. I did once, but... But I don't now. Eleanor. Then there's someone else? What do you think? Gee, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Sorry? Why, Johnny? Well, can't you see? Marty is my... Well, I... I had no right to. Don't you think I should be the judge of that? I'm not engaged to Marty. Well, I have a right to love whom I please, haven't I? Yes, uh, but... Uh, but what? You don't know anything about me. Oh, yes, I do, Johnny. I know all about you. Marty told me. Oh, I know what you've been. But I also know what you are now. What you've made of yourself. I've made a heel of myself. Listen, Eleanor. I love you more than... Oh, I've got to get out of here. I've got to think things over. I'll see you later. How are you? Fine. How did you enjoy the game? Why, it, it was lovely. You're rather fond of Johnny, aren't you? Yes, Marty. I am. You know, I came over this evening to ask you to marry me. That would be impossible now, wouldn't it? Yes, I suppose so. I thought you were always rather partial to me. But I am fond of you, Marty. I've never been so fond of anyone as you. Until Johnny came along. And I admire and respect you tremendously. Oh, for Pete's sake, don't say that. Oh, I'm sorry, Eleanor. I've put you through this mess. Perhaps I should have spoken sooner, huh? Johnny's been pleading your case. You couldn't have a better counsel. Are you going to marry him? He hasn't asked me. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'll be running along. Goodbye. Goodbye, Marty. Promotion. The only way they could have licked it. Sending you out there in the sticks, they'll bury you alive. Do you think Scarpelli's behind this? Scarpelli in politics. The only way they could have tied our hands. I think I'll duck out of this town, Marty. It's time for me to move on anyway. Johnny. You mean Eleanor? If you're thinking of me, you needn't go. She's taken the matter out of our hands. 
definitely decided herself. I'll go on out there in the sticks. Maybe someday we'll get a break. Johnny ain't sucker enough to go through with his copper business. He knows what it's all about. Well, maybe better if he wants to keep in with the boys. Listen, we'll put it to him straight from the shoulder. We'll knock this town over and get out quick. Well, perhaps that's what the boys want. Of course that's what the boys want. So that's what they want, eh? What is this, Vince, a double cross? Don't get sore, Johnny. We were perfectly willing to string along with you while you put Scapelli out of business. And now? And now it's time for us to make a quick clean up and blow. There's no percentage for us while you're playing copper out in the sticks someplace. I see. If Scapelli is strong enough to have you railroaded out there, he's too strong for us to lick. Now get this. I'm going out to the sticks and play copper. And I'm going to stick out there until Scapelli is licked. And if the mob doesn't like it, why, they can blow. So that's the layout, huh? That's it, Vince. Well, that's that. Yep, that's that. Listen, I'm going to get to Scopelli and tell him that everything is okay for tonight. We'll join him on that jewelry job. Well, now, I don't know about that. What do you mean you don't know well, about just it? just a minute. Uh, I mean, I don't know, that's all. Well, make up your mind. Good morning, Sergeant. Good morning, sir. So this is it, eh? I'm glad to see you, sir. Thanks. I'm Grimes. Here's a reporter. I want to talk to you. They wanted a statement from you, Captain, regarding your transfer. Oh, I see. Hello? Yes, he's here now. It's me, Captain. Hello? Yeah? This is Tony, boss. Say, uh, I can't double-cross you like the rest of the mob. I gotta tip you off. Now, get this. They've gone over with Chili Scarpelli, and they're gonna knock over a jewelry store a block from your place tonight. All right. Thanks, Tony. Well, young fella, all I can say is I'm going to try to handle this job out here just as I try to handle it downtown. Yes, sir. All set, Tony. All set, Tony. And there are meat. Listen, you better beat it. If anyone... No, that wouldn't make any difference. If you jump in tonight, Johnny, they'll know I kept off the leg. Three o'clock in the morning. Nine all night. Three o'clock in the morning. Help, you know. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning, I'm all right. Three o'clock in the morning, and I'm all right. Three o'clock in the morning, I'm all right. Oh, my. Oh, we're all right. <laughs> hey. 
Get a load of that drunk. He won't mess things up for you, will he, Johnny? Not a bit, Tony. That's a cop, and he's not as drunk as he looks. A cop? Hey, listen. You beat it now, and I'll see you later. You tip them off. You double cross us. Scram, you black beast! Take care of this. Here they are. Tony, they got you, pal. Yes, boss. They got me. But if they hadn't, the cops would. I'm oh. sorry, Tony. That's all right, boss. You'll have to get along without me now. But you clean up Ch Chili's gang tonight. And then this town will be yours. The town is not mine, Tony. It never was going to be mine. I've been on the level with the DA. I've been a regular cop ever since I took this job. You, you mean it, boss? You mean you, you've been on the up and up with this thing? You honestly been trying to clean up the town? Sure. My line may not have been according to Hoyle, Tony, but it worked. Oh! Duck in this warehouse! Go ahead, break the door now! Put some thief on it! Send out the reserves. We've got Chili's gang cornered in the warehouse at Madison and Tremont. Send a tear gas squad. Yeah, that's 
I started out to get Scatelli and his mob, and I'm going to finish it. Sergeant, you stay outside here with the boys. This is a personal matter. All right, Jack. Do your stuff. to stay here. Well, that doesn't mean me. I need some help. You should have stayed outside. Let's go outside. This is Johnny. Look out, Marty. This is behind these piles. The carriage is down. You go right, and I'll go left. We'll get it. guy gets in uniform, they take a shot at him. You can't win all the time. Back it, Marty. You can't pull the gang stuff and get away with it. I think it'd be a slow idea if you two named the first little son of a gun Johnny. in a nice, tidy little war. 